What's good, John? Cool off. I'm bad guy Ken. I'm Zay Famous. And you know, we're, we're the mix. mix on tide water. On tide water waves. Ah. Hey. What's up, man? Appreciate what's y'all coming out. Good with you. Yeah, not much. How y'all? Not much. How y'all doing? Man, we good. How y'all? You know, regular dag. Regular regular. Regular regular. Just cool and enjoying the Saturday off. Cool. I'm not off. I have to work. Yeah. Most definitely have to work. Yeah, that's a good thing. Another day, another dollar. Show, yeah, show. Thanks. So, yeah, we'll get right into it. We'll start off. Who's the mix? Uh, who are y'all individually? Okay, well, I'll start with the group. Um, we're the mix, and, you know, we're a talk show for the new millennium. I feel like it's a void that's missing with you know a lot of media content that's going out and you know the mix we're here to fill that void we're here to give you know insight on our generation you know we we look up to so many talk shows like the real and the talk and you know arsenio hall all those talk shows that came before us but yeah ted talk but um we just felt like those were older people talking about 20 something age people's problems so we're like you know we're all in our 20s like why can't we be the voice of our generation and be like hey you know we do creative things you know we have opinions and you know we have things to talk about right. it really shows that like our generation has a voice because i feel like the older generations feel like we're just so social media bound and we don't really care about every day. Like we care about politics. We care about what's going on with the world. Where the fact that this whole being woke thing has really taken over our generation is actually a really good thing because it makes us look into different things that like our parents taught us that wasn't really good. Like certain things about politics, um, about how like these diseases these diseases and stuff and just things like that other than what they said um the mix is just our outlet you know what i'm saying it's something we really enjoy to do uh we're a family uh we enjoy our time together and uh we just want to make a difference in the world you know what i'm saying make a difference for our culture yeah for that we well, yeah, i just want to say i appreciate y'all for being the media outlet that y'all are Hey, we trying um, to get like you, man. Okay. No, nah, not at all. Yeah. Y'all been out here for about 10 years, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's the goal. Just a little bit. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, how long y'all been out here? Really, like, two, three, tell the people It's going. Started. It's actually going on two years next week. Oh. December 15th will be our second year doing this. It seems like forever, but it's actually been two years, you know, so baby. we're very thankful. Um of the growth in the process of the mix um we definitely have grown as a talk show you know it's an exciting thing so our second year is like next week so i'm excited dope word okay so y'all kicking off season three yes um, sir yeah y'all inspired me to do the same hey it's crazy how that correlated hey that's what's up man yeah season three um I let them talk on like what season three means to them, but I felt like season three, I feel like this is just a, like a new, a new beginning for us and for the brand. I know with season one, I want to go back to the feeling of season one, and like I felt like season one, it was so carefree, like before like the recognition and before like the deals with YouTube and all that. That I'm not saying that we're not thankful for that because we are, but it's like season one, everything was like so fun. And so like we're just doing it because we love it and we're not doing it for whatever ABC reasons is. So I feel like with season three, we want to just bring that organic love back to the show. And you know, we don't care about the views. I mean, the views are amazing. We, we appreciate all our mixes and our supporters, but you know, w once you start focusing on the views and how much income you're trying to get from your content it kind of takes the fun out of it so i want to bring that for me back to season three i just want us to have fun i want us to put out content without caring like okay yeah the views are nice but we're doing this because we actually love what we do so i want to bring that back to season three so i'm excited about that dope okay ah season three it's gonna be like different segments 
from each of us. So I think that makes it really fun. It kind of reminds me of all of that, yeah. how, like, they have different segments and stuff, and it brings different things, like how there's the girls' room and stuff, bring right, out the right. dancing lobsters, blah, blah, blah. Y'all like, bring out dancing lobsters? I hope oh, so. In the budget. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a dog dressed up in a lobster suit. Right, right. Bring out the dog. We're gonna work with you. Exactly. We'll <laughs> we'll let you know. If you wanna be one of those lobsters, just let us know. We hey, can we can rent a we can rent a suit. But I just think it's gonna be really fun and it's gonna bring out our individual creative juices. Yeah. So that's what I'm excited about. Oh. Like Austin said, it's gonna be something different, you know what I'm saying? Uh we're gonna get real creative this season. Um like he said, I had to learn uh, through photography and my f personal photography that uh, once you start worrying about how much you're gonna make and who's really like who's really like showing interest in you, it kind of take the fun out of your what you're doing. Like you kind of lose track of what inspired you to do it in, to begin with. So um, I'm just looking forward to uh, being creative, uh, showing some dope content. And um, we just gonna shake the world, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you spoke a little bit about uh, YouTube. You know, I see y'all got a thousand subscribers. Yes. Yeah. Congrats on By that. By the grace of God, we appreciate that, man. Ooh. Yeah. We like want to thank all the supporters, yes. all of them. All y'all baby Definitely. mamas who told all three y'all baby daddy. Exactly. So much. Baby mama's cousin, all that. Okay. Exactly. Yes. See, he knows. he knows. He knows. He knows. We all had a grandma. <laughs> yes. One of the best friends. Right. I love it. Yeah, so um, like I said, I'm trying to get like y'all. So, you know, when did those follow, um, followers, subscribers start to really come about and grow? Like, man, what I was think that moment? the um, playlist, the playlist. It had to be playlist. Yeah, it had to be the playlist. Um, the playlist is like one of our biggest videos. Like, our. And, our, and Halloween. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Halloween that was one. Funny. But I, I think the that. playlist, like, Cause that's like at fifteen thousand views right now, fifteen hundred views right now. So, you know, um, it's just it showed a person, it showed our fun side, and you know, like Kendra said, we talk about like we want to talk about topics as such as you know, um, like what's in the media, it. yeah, like what's in the media and like what's important to us. But we also want them to know that hey, we're young and we wanna we wanna have fun just like y'all. So that's where the playlist came from. You know, I feel like that's what really drew everybody in. I know when people say hey, the mix, I love y'all playlist because y'all get lit. So yeah. that's one of our biggest successors, and I feel like that brought the audience. Okay, dope, dope. So yeah, I know y'all touched on like um. What type of content can y'all go a little more specific on, you know, some of the segments? Yeah. Um, y'all want me? I mean, everybody has their own segment this season, so I'm happy about that. Like Kendra said again, um, it shows our individuality because it's hard to find your self-worth when you're in a group. It's five of us. Like, it's three of us right now, but it's actually five of us, and we all do amazing things outside of the mix. So to interpret what you do, on, in your solo endeavors and put it into like a group setting, it's amazing because you never want to be lost in the cast of five people. So um, I know a segment that me and Zay are working on is what's good in the hood. Um, we're going to be going to like different places. Like we're going to go to like businesses and oh. um, follow people around. Like it's us interviewing them, but we're following them on their day to days instead of you know them coming on our couch so mm -hmm. that's what we're bringing in kendra okay so the reason why i mentioned the girls room Excited. from all that i'm gonna have a similar one um it's basically gonna be like a group of like four or five of us girls are gonna be in our pajamas it's gonna be like a little nighttime girl talk and we'll just discuss we'll discuss certain girl issues i'll eventually have people like um, send, send us in questions and stuff and um, and we'll answer it. I'll eventually have like different entre like female entrepreneurs. Like I have a lot of people who do lashes, who do weaves, who just have a lot of creative things coming. So I'll bring them on. We'll discuss that. Or we'll have like discussions like while they're doing my lashes type thing just to put people on and have discuss discussions about what girls go through. So, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I like that. You know, y'all thinking outside the box. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. that. We're all about thinking outside the box, and we're all about unity. 
which, you know, a lot of people say it's no unity in Virginia, but, you know, um, not the, you know, honk our own horn, but we kind of, oh, no. um, we kind of brought a lot of people from Virginia together. Um, this, um, summer we, um, did our Virginia unity shoot and I feel like this one coming up next summer is going to be more lit than the first one. Shout out to, um, our boy Jay Lewis who, you know, who filmed that for us. Okay. Dope. Yeah, you kind of beat me to it. I want to talk a little bit about the Virginia scene out here. And okay. um, how do y'all, you know, each feel about um, whether it be the music, the media, just, you know, the growing scene? Yeah, um, for me, it's being, doing the mix, we have met a lot of talented people. We have interacted with a lot of talented people, whether it's interviews or them just supporting us in whatever we do. Virginia scene does not get the credit that it should it's so many talented people and it's not just in music it's in fashion it's in you know um promotion and it's in so many different um revenues out here i feel like virginia is on that list with the new yorks and the atlantas and all that it's just so much going on in the virginia scene we just have to find a way to promote that and i feel like it's going to happen you know pharrell's doing a lot of stuff down here like he's doing the um, something in the water festival mm -hmm. down here during beach week so i feel like that's going to like motivate a lot of people to go harder with their craft so we can like get out there and so everybody can know that virginia been lit mm -hmm. you know yeah definitely so i'm actually glad that he mentioned the whole pharrell possibly coming to virginia beach i'm actually on the team to um, help make that happen and nice. help with the promotion of it all. Okay, shout out to Privilege Republic, Love. promoters of Norfolk. So, um, like he said, and like Pharrell said, there's something in the water, and he said that, I don't know if people actually get what it means, but it, like there's something in our water that breeds so much talent from athletes, from artists, from people who do parties out here. Literally, like they breed a lot of success. And me coming from Northern Virginia, I feel like Norfolk is really slept on because there's so much talent out here. So, yeah, there's something in the water, trust me. For sure. Virginia has talented athletes, talented artists, talented promoters, talented everything. We're just talented overall. And a lot of people uh, don't get the notice that they should. We, Virginia as a state goes unnoticed a lot. Um, when people talk about Virginia, they're like, ah, oh, man, that place whack and stuff like that. But if you really come here, you'll see that's a lot of lit stuff here, a lot of lit people, too. And um, like like they were saying about Pharrell, like hopefully more doors can open up for us instead of us having to leave our own state and go somewhere else just to get noticed. We can do it from our home state. Definitely. Okay. Also, I want to touch on... Um the Mixed Madhouse Showcase. Okay. You know, I know it was a you know a couple months ago, but just put some spotlight on that. Um, how did that come come together and stuff? Man, that was just an idea of all of ours. We know so many um, so many artists that wanted to be interviewed. So we we're like, man, like we can't we can't interview all these artists in the season. So we was like, man, we're gonna do something for them because we always tell people like we're gonna work with y'all. We're gonna work with y'all because the mix we don't. We're not that show. We're not going to, you don't have to pay to sit on the couch with us. You don't got to pay to chop it up with us. If you want to work with us, it's no fee. Like, we do it because we love what we do. We love the craft. We love the people who make the craft. So we are like, man, we're going to find a way to work with all these artists. So we are just like, bro, how if we just don't, we just do a showcase, like, we just do a showcase down here, let these um artists be heard, you know? It was, you know, every sh every project has its bumpy roads, but at the yeah, bro, hurricanes, flooding, like we went through all that. So, but at the end of the day, we got we got it done, and I'm proud of us. It was our first event ever, like our first event ever. So, for it to t be a turnout like that, a lot of people really came. A lot of people showed love. You know, I really I really want to thank everybody for that because it really made us not afraid to do another another project which you know we have a lot of projects coming up in 2019. okay can we uh expect a part two to that 
Definitely, I do want to do a second um, showcase, especially knowing the knowledge that we know now. Like, we, um, once again, shout out the privilege. Um, you know, our boy Rome, our boy Daryl, they gave us a lot of insight on how we should, you know, maneuver with our second project. So shout out to them. I'm forever grateful for that because, you know, it's... You learn from each other. Yeah, you learn. Mm -hmm. you, you learn from each other. And, you know, them doing parties and us doing a showcase is two different things. But, you know, that's it's an event. So for them to, you know, give us some insight, that was very – I commend them for that because, you know, a lot of people would be like, oh, psh, you know, whatever. But they really helped us out. So our second – I don't want to put a date on it because we're still like planning everything, but just know um, springtime we're going to have like a second showcase. It's going to be more organized. It's going to be more open. We're going to have, you know, bigger things planned for this showcase. Yeah, I'm excited. Razor tailored to it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Small. Well, yeah, we appreciate y'all coming out. Hey, um, thank also, you for having us. Yeah, definitely. We're going to all be working on some collaborative stuff in the future. Of course. Yeah. Tired water waves, man. Yeah, the mix, man. Shout out to y'all. Hey, can we do a couple shout outs real quick? Hey, go, go for it. Yeah. All right, so I want to shout out everybody who support us. We love you from the bottom of our hearts. Shout out to Scotty Yo and shout out to LaShawn that's, have, that's not here today. We love y'all. You know, OG3 going to hold you down. Shout out to Blue Cloud Radio. You've been sticking with us since season one, first episode. You've been rocking with us. Make sure you go download the app. Shout out to everybody who F with us. Like, everybody. Like, I don't care if it's just you liking a picture or you subscribing and telling all your friends about us. We appreciate everything. You already know. Shout out to Privileged Republic. You know we do the biggest parties out here, okay? Thursdays at Culture, Saturdays at Plaza, and Wednesdays at LA's, okay? Tip well. I don't really have many shout outs, but uh, shout out to my mama and my family. Hey, auntie. <laughs> shout out to my girlfriend. Thank you. Um, and one thing I want to say before we go is um, support your, your friends, man. Show support for others. Rather you like what they're doing or not, just show them that you support whatever they want to do, if it's positive. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shout out to all the mixes. Oh, some good closing words right there. Yes. Yeah, all right. This the mix. Hey, and we out. We out. We out.